Okay, recording. Hi, John here. Today it's um, Tuesday the 20th of March 2018. I'm just uh, making a video to Tony Fortune, notary lawyer in Fortune Manning office on the Viaduct Basin. Tony, this is directed to you in response to me and Morris Lowe Baker waiting patiently for over four weeks for a response from you looking over my documents. Out of all that time we're expecting good news from you, we got nothing much. Just that you only could do an apostolic seal for my passport. That's my passport here. The new one that I just got clears me to fly overseas on business. Okay? That's all you could do for me. Yet everything I'm saying on Facebook, 109 Facebook sites, and 1,565 YouTube videos doesn't mean a thing to you who I am I say I am I swear I am to tell the truth nothing but truth so help me God everything I'm saying is true that makes everything you're attesting to something different because your colleague Yu Tai Choi signed all these documents and sealed them on the 29th of August 2013. So I thought, oh, I'll go to you because he wasn't responding. You know why? Because he's the lawyer for John Key, the crooked criminal fraudster of the banks that's been promoted to be chairman of ANZ Bank and director of Air New Zealand. A criminal fraudster, bankster, coming here on my land on the 21st tomorrow with another criminal fraudster, thug, Barack Obama, ex-president of the United States with a whole string of fraud under his name and corruption of the legal system in America and Britain and here in New Zealand coming here at $400, $400,000 just to talk and I'm talking here all my videos are free no charge fee like he does with all the criminal activity behind him and everybody following him is liable by him and he's liabling the government here Jacinda Ardern and Winston Peters, the Deputy Prime Minister and Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. He's libeling them. Again, the government has changed its pants and gone from national to Labour. No different. They've got a legacy of a string of fraud and corruption of the justice system of New Zealand. I'm attesting to, I'm swearing, it's true is true in fact so tony fortune i'm disappointed with you and all the titles i hold in all those instruments i gave you are legal they have more authority than you have on these lands that i say belongs to me and from my ancestors down to me they made contracts with the kings, not the queen, the kings of commerce, the creators of the Bank of England, the creators of the laws in Westminster, and the creator of the pound note, and more particularly, the creator of this eight-point staff and this flag the kings gave me and my paramount chiefs. Not Maori, paramount chiefs, native. Nothing to do with Maori. That's your creation. That's your piracy on the high seas. 
Tony, I'm saying that squarely to your face on this video, that you are <coughs> a legacy with the government in Wellington of fraud and corrupting the justice system. I'm pointing out that is well and duly overdue for overhaul. The CRB police and the courts dismissed my case against what happened on 77 Cook Street with me, the legal owner, the commercial land owner of that land. And they arrested me, took my shirt, my regalia with me, off me, and locked me up, unlawfully arrested me. They've got a trillion pound debt on the head, bond, Tony. Anyone that has offended me, a true native of this land, a true native, not a humbug, Maori, iwi, tribe of yours. That tribe, Ngāti Whātua, belongs to you, Tony, and your corporate pirates operating Wellington, New South Wales, Australia. Prison convicts, that's what I'm calling them all, thugs. I'm calling them all thugs connected to each other and more thugs coming here tomorrow, flying in. And I'm saying to the British Royal Navy, that's nothing to do with you and your Royal Navy or your New Zealand Navy, it's nothing to do with the British Royal Navy. John Martin, this is to you, I've warned you before of tampering with our flag. If you're tampering with this flag, you're going to get the chop. I'm saying that on this video, right in front of you, I'm not afraid to say that you are a fraudster operating on my land and my chief's land. You haven't got a clear title, none of you, and you're operating second-hand, third parties, so a two-party contract between me and the High Court of Admiralty in London and the Magistrate Courts, Sir Philip Jones, First Lord of the Sea, Admiral, in the British Royal Navy, our legal, legitimate business commercial trading bank partner with this flag of kings. Dead. That's in the mouthful. And I'm saying I'm the authority here acting for those kings, King William III, King William IV and King George IV. I'm acting for the Paramount Chief Tira Waikato Whare Hedehede Manukau had a contract with King George IV, 1823, Inver Magistrate Court to Awaro Native Magistrate Court in Auckland <coughs> and Tahike North Marae and Rawane Native Court in Hokianga. There. Okay, now I'm using Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court in Auckland to try all you people at the court. That's what I've been doing, setting up the courts, 12 of them, Native Magistrate Courts, because your court system failed me and you just failed me now. Tony, Fortune, you failed me. And you, Tai Choi, tested, signed these documents as one affidavit equals all the pages makes one affidavit. That's this whole book of two twenty-seven pages. He signed and said, right here. Tony, I just want to show you and the world watch it. They are my witness. And discovered. Okay? Here's his company. There's his seal and his signature. Okay? I want to read it out to you. I'm going to get like glasses. I'm reading out to you. I'm reading out to the whole world, really. 
certificate of authenticating documents to all those whom these present shall come. I, U Tai Choi of Auckland, in New Zealand, Notary Public, duly authorised, admitted and sworn and practising within New Zealand, do hereby certify. 1. On the 29th of August 2013, John Hoani Wānoa in capital, letters, uppercase, a resident of Auckland, attended on me and sufficiently identified himself to me. 2. He produced to me the following documents. A. Application for the default lien debtor sale of ship and other property and business. 3. I certify that the above named document is an original document and that the signatures thereunto subscribed were subscribed in my presence. 4. I have affixed my seal to each document and to the copies thereof and have identified the same for the purposes of authenticating them. In testimony whereof I have hereunto subscribed my name and affixed my seal of office at Auckland aforesaid this 29th day of August 2013 in faith and testimony Notary Public Auckland New Zealand sign you type choice. Okay? You see it? Yeah. I have the original document and my seal here with the two chiefs that went to England in eighteen twenty to eighteen twenty five period with King George the Fourth. Hongi Hika and Tara Waikato Fare Terehiri Manikau went to England. And this is the other document he signed. <clears throat> it has the application to the High Court of Admiralty in London with King William IV and our flag. Oh, somebody from you. Hello? Hello, hello, Mr. Morris. Oh, I'm pretty good. I've been up since about one doing these documents for John Key and, and uh, uh, Obama and Hillary Clinton coming here. They're coming here to sign this bloody place away, mate. And I'm heading them off. I'm just putting all the documents together. I put, put some things online and uh, the documents to that lawyer, to Tony um, Tony Fortune, the lawyer we went to see. And I'm just using the other documents, the first lawyer I went to see, the, the, the South Korean guy, I'm using that now um, because that's for 227 pages. He's, he's signed for the whole lot. So I'm going to use that. Uh, I don't expect to pay Tony Fortune anything, so I'm writing to him in front of everybody. Uh, I'm just putting it on video now, up, up online. Okay, so that's where we are there. And um, I'm, going, I'm going down to Whakatane tomorrow for a day or two to fix my car and bring it back. I'll, I'll bring it back. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the road down there and she was going to throw it in the records. It's a good car, but I don't want to um, see the thing go. Yeah, it just needs a couple of hoses and she's away. I've got the hoses. I put the hoses back on and she's off. Yeah, what's up? Oh, I haven't been uh, overnight very well. That's not good. Yeah? What did he say? You, you, what did he say? You, you're getting too heavy weight and got more weight on or what? And what about the treadmill? You, you're jumping on that? You've been jumping on that or your leg's still sore? It's your leg. That, that, that's the problem with that thing. Is, Hey, right? you're gonna to have to do something with that, or, or or what? What's 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 the latest from the doctor? What did he have to say? You you've got a you've got a hospital job. Yeah.
Yeah, but that the sweat is just telling me you you've got all that stuff stacked up in you that it's it's not getting flushed out. It's always it's always what what uh, what you're going to be ingesting or taking or pills or, or something like that that's going to fix it. Um, the pills are, are, are good for one thing, but if you mix too, too many of them, the body can't take it, I think. Yeah, well, the body... Um, well, that, that, that was tough all the time. She, um, she jumped the street while I was through the time of taking eight. So that that if it's that low, that you got less blood sugar, not enough. So it's still it's uh, I, I, I'm just trying to figure it out. What what seems to be the problem will still be the medication. It's still it's still the medication between that and exercise. The, the less exercise you take, the, the more the pill is trying to work overtime. And it can't get rid of what's, what's jammed up in you. That's why... I, anyway, um, what's happening on Friday? Yeah? Um, 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 I'm coming down to Auckland on Friday. Okay. Uh, I'm going to that uh, meeting with the Harris over in the over in Auckland. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's, yeah, you can let me know when you when you're here, um, or or when you come around anyway. Um, and we'll catch up with what's what's. How long are you staying for? You going back the same day, or you're gonna stay overnight some somewhere? Uh, I'm 